Hi students and professionals. Welcome back to another important session. My name is Jagdish Kumar Raidu. I'm SBSD and S4 HANA practitioner. So I'm working as a consultant. Currently I'm working on S4 HANA sales project. So I think this knowledge is useful for you. Okay. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you like it, please like and you know you can comment and you can share to enhance your knowledge. Knowledge, you cannot hide it. Okay. So that's what I wanted to say. Okay, let's get into the topic. Enquiry important reports. Okay, enquiry, I think you can able to create it if you already got introduced. If you are the beginner, then uh, you will, it will create some excitement, but I would like to tell a couple of reports which is useful to you. So currently I'm just uh, running my practice on S4 HANA 2020 and ECC. If I find somewhere which is not available when I compared with ECC to S4 HANA, I'll just uh, keep you posted. Okay. So generally this is uh, the transaction VA15 and uh, v.03 what is this uh, va15 is, is all about we will see and as for hana screen okay so so let me so let's come here logistics okay sales and distribution and sales let's come to the inquiry okay you have these parts v11 and v12 and v18 okay all these are for inquiry create and change and display that is v15 let's see this now okay so i'm just taking out this so basically it will give the list of inquiries okay so you can able to pull the list of inquiries list of orders and a list of contracts and the list you can pick all the list this is the transaction okay you can able to see command prompt i entered va15 okay so you can give any inquiry it doesn't matter okay so if i run on your whole okay so let's see if you go down like you know it will give about open inquiries and all inquiries so this is the selection criteria you would like to Pull the inquiries based on a certain sales area, you can able to give it, or else you can pull by based on the sales office or a certain partner function to whom it is got created. Okay, validity date. Okay, you know, for inquiry and quotation, you have validity from and validity to date, right? Based on that, also you can able to pull it, okay, like that. So you can able to give the document type. Let me pull the inquiry. I am okay. Let's try to go to the more and you can able to execute it or else from your keyboard you can able to press you are getting all inquiries okay what it is got created for these are the different sold to parties and this is the document type when it is got created and the inquiry document and again is that what are all the item number and materials and all these details you can get it okay so what what we have selected here the document type inquiry we have selected this is for open so if i put it all inquiries which those uh, closed inquiries also you can get it okay so if you click this execute this you can able to get more details okay this is fine if you know this this is fine okay let's try to create one inquiry okay so let me do this I'm just giving the sales area. Okay. I think you, if you're aware, that is fine. We'll give the customer number here. And I'm just giving the test one. Okay. So, like, uh, I'm just giving the validity. Okay. So, I'm just uh, trying to do this. Let's try to put some validity, useful validity. So, I'm just trying to give. So somewhere like uh, I'm giving 29th, okay. I'll try to close this inquiry by this month end, okay, John. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving the material, okay, with certain quantity. 
So you have a validity and this one. Let's try to check. Uh, what do you call? Go to the edit and try to check incomplete log. See what we are trying. You try to observe like uh, I'm just putting the payment terms. It is asking. Let's try to put it this one. So now let's go back. Your inquiry. Let's try to save this. Okay, now inquiry got created. Now go to VA12. You can see this number. It ends with 56. So now go to our report, VA15. Okay, I'm just giving this customer with this customer I'm created. Okay, let's try to check this. So I'm just putting this one as an open inquiry and let's try to execute this one. Okay, from your keyboard function F8 or F8. Or else you can go to the path what I have shown. This is S4 HANA 200 screen. In the similar way, you will get the same thing in your ECC also. There is nothing to worry. There is no much difference actually. You can able to see for this customer. Okay. So these are the open uh, inquiries available. Now we have created right with the validity 29012 31st01. Okay. So we have taken the 10 bags for the line item 10. Okay. This is how you can able to create it. This is the sole to party. So this is the advantage. Like, you know, you can able to see this either open inquiries or else all inquiries. Most of the times, if you're working on support project, like, you know, you get some issues or else some issues uh, with certain inquiry, if you'd like to search this, this transaction code, this tool is useful. Okay. With this report, you can able to get it, whether it is open or else or else if you if it is part of all inquiries you can able to check it out okay so you can give any any one of the parameter it depends on how you work what is your requirement that you will get to know based on the defect what he raised actually see reports everyone thinks that this is just a report at the time of learning but it's not like that okay so you can able to see so i think uh, you have seen this one second so what is this? Let me put IT102. Let's keep this customer as of now. Okay. As our selection criteria. You have given. Let's go to the all uh, inquiries for this customer. Okay. Again, execute this. You'll get more actually, you know. In this uh, probably like, you know, previously we got very, uh, this test one we created. It is there in all available and here also available. Suppose this inquiry is converted into the quotation, then so it won't be available in uh, open inquiry level. Okay. Now let's see the fun actually. So let's try to let's try to check if inquiry is completed, incomplete, not completed, incomplete. How do we get that list actually? If you go back, okay. So one is for this uh, overview of uh, open and uh, completed inquiries. So this is V.03 is for incomplete inquiries. You need not remember all these things. Just try to understand. So like, you know, once I have finished the reports uh, explanation, probably I'll try to show you where we can get all these things. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go back and let me try to check v dot zero three okay so this is okay so this is uh so either uh incompleteness let me try to show you first let me try to create an inquiry this is easy for you let's go to the inquiry okay let's try to enter the same customer no issues okay let's try to enter the some uh, five okay five bags of this material let's try to go and check incomplete okay probably like you know go and edit and try to click on incomplete control f8 otherwise you can see these two fields are mandatory based on the incomplete procedure what you have assigned at the document type uh header level okay so if i fill this this will be completed for example, maybe X, Y, Z reasons in support. I'm not talking about these two fields only. Probably like, you know, you might have created an incomplete procedure according to their customer requirements. Such a case, 
so like you know probably certain data is not filled if end user is joined uh, at his uh, desk newly he don't know probably he he can say controllers like this he can share this i'm just giving the uh, normal uh, simple example okay now let's try to check we are the team so this is inquiry should be available in our report like this you know suppose last six months so audit is coming you would like to close the inquiries which is now open either you can able to reject this or else you can able to try to uh, process this okay now let's go to the transaction okay press enter so i'm just giving the sales org here okay probably like you know if you know the incomplete processes that, that you can able to select here that's what it is talking about now you got some idea about it if you know how incomplete log works okay uh, so this is all about like you know where you can able to do the uh, uh, determine the incomplete procedure based on the fields actually now we got two fields let's run based on the sales org you have also different selection criteria there is nothing to worry about that okay uh so so either you can able to save this uh, as a variant for your customer or okay let's click this execute see now these two uh inquiries got incomplete if you see this in this inquiries quotation value 2 is not filled okay now just now we have seen quotation value in payment payment terms so how many incomplete logs available number is 2 that's what it is talking about okay so it is in general level okay this is in your uh, general level uh, uh, incomplete log if something is there relevant to delivery or billing or pricing it depends on the document type now for inquiry you don't have all the stuff then you can able to see this this is the advantage so suppose i'm just going this this inquiry right i'm just clicking this one so like uh, so i would like to complete this one so value two i'm just giving certain date okay maybe 31st so let me go back okay so it is asking payment terms okay you can able to fill here directly so let's come here okay let's save this if you save this see it it is in green okay uh, so that means you filled this one let's uh, uh let's exit this exit and try to execute again now only one is available previously 55 was there now 57 is there this is how you can able to complete so it can be this as of now based on our uh, incomplete processor these two it is showing in standard it might be anything like you know how will you come to know like you know you can able to come to know like but uh, you have a tons of place last six months like you, know, you got a ticket that like, you know try to find out uh, try to list out so then uh, you can pull like this the similar way you can able to do the quotation and you can able to do the for sales order also i will show you in the next session okay So I think uh, you got it. Uh, what is the list of inquiries? So if it is open or completed, now you got the incomplete inquiry list. How you can able to uh, open and uh, reprocess it to get complete, or else you can see the list. So if you like, I think uh, I helped you some extent to understand this. Uh, if you fully really understand, if you like it, you can like it, and uh, you can comment and share to your friends to enhance uh, their knowledge as well as. Uh, if you would like to get more videos, you can subscribe it. And uh, let's come to the my full part. And these are the different uh, set of uh, courses available in Udemy. Like uh, that is uh, SAP SD complete pricing. It is it will give like you know good idea. You can see this is one of the top rated course and uh, complete sales and distribution course. And apart from that, on rebates and uh, your S four Hana uh, introduction and, and you know for uh, FSEM, how it will be there, uh, like, you know, credit management in S4 HANA, different courses available, and one specific course available in stock transfer. Recently, I have listed one course uh, for, you know, let me show you this. So this is for getting master to write functional specification. If you'd like to getting into the real time, 
for especially for implementation projects or else uh, support projects where the solutions can be enhanced so this is useful please subscribe and try to get into this and uh, that's it in next session we will try to see uh, the same session how it will work for quotations thanks a lot have a great day